all right youtube this is your boy the virus system here again today we are here to do the chiri chiri chara chara with um smart school management system and today i'll be guiding how to create a staff member in smart school management system now anytime you're creating a staff in um, smart school management system an automatic password is it's always been generated and is sent to the teacher that you are registering in the system or the staff that you are registering in the system so now we are going to look at how to set our own default password um, so that um, you will know the password that you are sending out to the teacher so um, once you are creating a teacher then the email is used as a login and the password is being generated automatically by the system and is sent to the teacher to log in now how do we overcome that by setting our own default what password for staffs to use to log in for the first time and they can make changes to the password now this is how we do it so we switch to our admin page this for um, parents and then teachers um, students to log in so let's switch to admin which um where we have staffs um log to as well so on this page where we have um super admin we have admin teacher we have accounts receptionist and then we have our uh, librarians which are going to use this login to login and students and parents are for the other login to use so now i'm going to log in as a super admin to add what a staff member and then we generate an automatic password so let's log in first into the system before we start setting what our default password for the system instead the system generated what password now to add a staff member we'll go to what human resource and then we have what staff directory and then we can add a staff to um, our system so now to add a staff the password is going to be generated what automatically so let's look at how we are going to what um, set this particular password so that um, we can have our own password in the system so now we what we need to do is that we need to navigate to um smart school folder and then to able to access um this particular file which is called staff is that okay because um that that is where we can do the changes because if i click on add um staff and then um we're going to see that we have what create staff so we're going to navigate to what staff and then we'll look for what create staff so let's um go to um my local host on drive c um let's come to arms then we'll come to ww then we we'll look for smart school so smart school we have smart school here chiri chiri chara chara we have it here now let's go to applications then we'll come to controller and then we'll look for admin so they said we're under admin we should look for at staff so let's look for staff s column we have staff here and they said in staff let's look for at create so let's look for create in staff to do that so now here we have um, our staff file here and everything starts from the top here so now when you open this what do you see all these things comes from um the staff controller where we have um payroll and other things and so forth and so on and we have the index page which um we left behind um and then um we have our next which is um let's see which is what disable list of what staff and um so we are going to look for create so let's look for the function called create function called create now we have a function here called create and that is what um we have here currently so we are creating a new staff so under this um, create stuff um, let's look for password 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 so we have all these um, um, variables which are going to receive the input fields from what our staff form which we have here and um, the password should be somewhere around this area so let's go so we have password here so now password they say this rule get random password and minimum characters is supposed to be six maximum characters is supposed to be six and then the use of uppercase in password no don't add uppercases and we have what include numbers they say yes include numbers includes um special characters which is also set to false to as well so now this is the password that is going to be generated um, randomly and then will be sent to the staff to use that with the email address to log in so now what we're going to do is that we're going to set our own default password so we comment this out and then declare a variable called what password so i'll just copy this from here and then set a new um variable which is equal to then i will set my default password which is going to be one two three four five six and then um we terminate it with um a semicolon which means full stop 
now our password is generated automatically now this password is going to be what the one that is going to be hash by this um hash function and then it was stored into our database and after that then it is now going to send the password to um the staff and then let's look at that portion here and here here we have it here so this is if staff then teacher login details is going to be um the id is going to be staff and then for for the credential we have what um staff the username is going to be his email the password is going to be the one two three we have set as default password which is contact phone number and then with his email address which is the same thing as what his user login so these are the information that is going to be sent to the teacher either by sms or by email so here we have what mail sms config and we have our mail sms we have login credentials we have our teacher details which will be sent to what um the teacher by sms so now we have set a default password which is one two three and we have override um we have override what the other um, generated random password by commenting it out so now we're going to create a staff and use this password to log in with the staff email address so now what we are going to do is that we generate a staff the virus s um the virus um we have um to this this um the staff number the role is going to be at a teacher or accountant librarian or whatever you want then um designation having said that one department having said that one first name let's say first name is going to be zaid um, as our first name and then last name is not required um father name and mother name are not required fields gender is a required field so we set gender which is male now the rest of the information can be set by the teacher those that are not required so let's look at the date of birth which is also required so we look at um the year 2009 um zaid was born on august 4th and the email address is going to be zaid at gmail.com so that is um the email address now remember that the email address is supposed to be the real email address of the teacher because later on informations are going to be sent through this email address so don't forget to use the real email address of the teacher i'm only using zaid at gmail.com is because it's just for training purpose but at this point you're supposed to provide the real email address of the teacher so all details can be sent to the teacher so remember that so this um our email address we are creating for our login i'll just copy that and hold it somewhere for login and we have what add more details of the teacher where you can add more details we have payroll um informations we have um leave and then we have bank details and fair um, social media handles and then documents to be uploaded but we we'll hold those ones for now they are not required for now so we only concentrate on these required fields and then we add what our teacher by hitting on the save button so let's give you some few seconds for it to add a teacher then we'll log out and log in with the details we have just created with that particular staff so now these are all the staffs we have here we have Uri Avinash, we have Tina Atams, we have Polycap Atams, we have Joe Atams, we have Clement Odikro, we have Gifty Atams, we have Uri Avinash again, we have Rani, and then we have the new stuff we have just added, which is what Zaid. So let's log out and then we log in with um, Zaid details to see um, whether these details were pick or not for the teacher. So let's log out. So log out and then we log in with our Zaid details. So now our system is logged out. Let's paste the email address I copied earlier on, and then we enter our password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we hit on the sign in button, and this should sign us into our system without any difficulty. So now we are signed into our system with Zaid details. So this is the teacher dashboard and then um, navigation menus as well. And then we have Zaid details here, name as Zaid, which is what a teacher, no image. And Zaid can do the editing by himself anytime he logs in, change password by himself anytime he logs into the system. So that is how to create a staff in Smart School Management System and setting a default password for all newly created um, staff members. So um, stay tuned with the virus system. And if you like my tutorials, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos. And don't hesitate to visit the virus blog and then to um, pick an email address that is there to make your donation on PayPal. So stay tuned with the virus system till our next tutorial.